Nearly 45 years ago, on December the 6th, 1976, one of the stranger events of last century's Cold War era took place. A Soviet twinjet aircraft of a design no Western power had ever sighted before unexpectedly landed at an airport on the Japanese island of Hokkaido. The clearly unplanned landing saw the plane overshoot the runway by hundreds of feet. Astonishingly, two gunshots then rang out at the civilian airport. The plane was found to be the MiG-25 and its pilot was 29-year-old Flight Lieutenant Viktor Ivanovich Belenko, an airman of the Soviet Air Defence Forces. Belenko was wanting to defect to the West. During the 40-year-plus Cold War, there were multiple defections by Soviet pilots and air crews. In addition to pilots defecting of their own accord, there were Western efforts to encourage defections using cash as an enticement. Apart from disillusionment with communism, Belenko seemed to have many incentives for his defection. He and his wife and three-year-old son were living in primitive conditions on a remote military base in Far East Russia, where staff morale was low and his ideas were ridiculed by his superiors. His family was about to leave and divorce was in the offing. Belenko had been out with his squadron on a training flight before abruptly descending and heading out to sea. However, his absconsion did not go as smoothly as he had wanted. He had hoped to attract a military escort, but in cloudy weather and running out of fuel, he finally ended up at a civilian airport where locals began to gather, some taking photos, therefore his two warning shots. Finally arrested by Hokkaido police for breaching Japanese airspace and firearms offences, he made his request for political asylum in the US. It was Belenko's plane that made the real impact. The MiG-25 had been intriguing Western forces for years. They weren't even aware of the official name for the plane, which was known to have hit Mach 3.2, that is, more than three times the speed of sound five years previously. At that time, Israeli raiders had detected it in nearby Damascus, and the Allies had only nicknamed it Foxbat. The name, as well as combining two fearless animals, carried a special sense of terror with it. Western military tradition required that new Soviet fighter planes be given nicknames starting with the letter F and new bombers nicknames starting with the letter B. The invention of Foxbat terrified Western forces with the possibility that the Soviets had managed to merge the agility of a fighter jet with the power of a bomber. On one occasion, the Israelis had attempted to fire missiles at it, but the plane flew so fast that it had escaped the danger zone by the time of the explosion. Examining old photos made it clear to the American military that a plane no Western power could catch had suddenly entered the global scene. Despite Soviet protests, the Japanese government invited US Air Force personnel to investigate their gift from the skies. In response, the dust had scarcely settled around the MiG-25 before Western engineers were swarming all over it. The US government proceeded to debrief Belenko for the next five months, with George H.W. Bush, CIA director at the time, calling the opportunity to extensively examine the plane an intelligence bonanza. Belenko had even brought with him the pilot's manual for the MiG-25 in anticipation of assisting US authorities in evaluating and testing the plane. Their technicians discovered an aircraft which was large by Russian standards but designed with the same Spartan simplicity that had always characterised MiGs since the MiG-1. Most extraordinary was the construction material. Rather than building with titanium, as Lockheed and American factories did, the Soviet designers had gone with the much cheaper stainless steel. As an aircraft flies, it exerts pressure against air molecules with such tremendous force that a massive amount of friction heat builds up. American aeronautical engineers use the costly titanium because it can withstand this heat. In economising, the Soviets had opted to construct a much bigger plane, one carrying enough steel to spread out and distribute the friction heat. The MiG-25 that Belenko had brought down in Japan was 64 feet long, an equivalent length to old World War II bombers. When empty, it weighed 44,090 pounds, and it also consumed a huge amount of fuel, nearly 33,000 pounds worth. 
the production version of the plane hit just Mach 2.5, later indicating to American technicians that the plane spotted years earlier was a reconnaissance variation. It also became apparent that the MiG-25 had major flaws. Its weighty size made it cumbersome and its engines were unable to withstand the pressures of its highest speeds. The MiG-25 that had hit Mach 3.2 near Israel had destroyed its own engines beyond repair. In the final analysis, the Foxbat was revealed to be a paper tiger. Its disassembled pieces were shipped back to the Soviets and Belinka was hired as a consultant to the US government for the next several years. However, the MiG-25 continued to be widely exported by the Soviet Union, seeing ongoing action in wars which has included use by India, Iraq and Syria. While its production ceased in 1984, the interceptor and reconnaissance craft is still in limited service. When searching for weapons of mass destruction in 2003, American soldiers uncovered a MiG-25 buried in the sand near Baghdad. The wingless plane was taken to the National Museum of the Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, where it remains, awaiting parts for restoration.